we'll see Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with the Baltimore Ravens. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Ravens offense going to work, and as usual, it's Lamar Jackson, the former MVP of the league, at the helm. Early part of his career, defense has really had to focus on his running ability, and they still do. But now, he's turned himself into a true dual-threat quarterback. When he plants his cleats in the ground and turns it loose, good things happen downfield. An option handoff here to Dobbins. And an early how do you do right there as they're going to bury him in the backfield. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. to throw is Jackson. He's got his man, it's Andrews. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rally to him. And that's what you can find, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle it, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Patriots take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. And bottom line, when you're the starting QB, what is it? Get the W. Oh, get the W. They did that last week. Right, got, the, got that done. Wasn't always pretty. There were some great moments. He threw four touchdown passes. But got to eliminate those mistakes. Got to take care of that because otherwise that could come back and bite him in another ball game. Throwing Jones. Checking this down to Stevenson. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Defensively, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored. Give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. Now Jones. Trying to get it to Adams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. And a great starting position. 
position to begin the drive, and now they look up for the third and five. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's Jackson to throw. Looking for Bateman, he's got it complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at the first and goal. Dobbins will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. Throwing is Jackson. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Lightning speed there from the safety, Devin McCourty on the sack. Remember, we had the game last week where they had six sacks, so a little bit more momentum here in the first quarter. Last week it appeared that they were coming out of sprinter's blocks. Chasing their quarterback. So how do they continue that? How do they keep making it happen? Different looks, different disguises, different angles that they chase it. They were so disruptive last week. We'll see what the trend is here as we go forward. Jackson got a man and he hits in his ride. A gain of five, but not enough. Leads to a fourth and goal. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. They rallied and made the tackle. And Tucker's kick right there. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. But they force the interception, put together a little drive, and they come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just to do it. And a good return as he stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here comes Mac Jones and the rest of the Patriot offense. He'll look to shake off the interception on the opening drive. He should at least be comforted that it resulted in three, not six. And if I were him, I would be the guy all the way out on the field greeting my defense now and saying, thanks a lot. He held him to a field goal after I turned it over. That's a big defensive stand for them. He needs to go out now and make up for what he did on the first drive. Well, normally, you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. Last week, of course, the great performance, over 200 yards. He still wants to be fed. And they should. That's exactly what you should do. I have not yet met a running back. This runs for over 200 yards. This says the very next week, it was back then. Yeah, I don't need it as much. No, they want it more and more. They're going to be ready to go because they think that's going to happen naturally now. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Tyus Bowser. He's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and then brings up fourth down. And now Nick Fall, his career long, 56 yards. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And off the crossbar, no good. A sensational effort from that distance but rejected by the bar. And this score will stay right where it is. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're gonna hit from that distance, sometimes you're gonna need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. This defense for the Patriots, they were very good in the victory a week ago over Cincinnati. And what key to the victory? The pass rush. Got to the quarterback six times for sacks. And plenty of other turnovers in the pocket for him as well. Hard to throw the ball down the field, but all you're seeing is opposing jerseys come at you. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On the option, Jackson will keep it. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Jackson. Quick slant to Brown. That line 
end up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. That was a nice save on slant down. The receiver's trying to do his big defender. I think he's going up field. Pull a deep route and then breaks it off. Usually after about three to four steps, it cuts through as a middle man. They're looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted.
sure this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's hitting him up in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different courses, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine said way back when, that's having a great game. You've got to get the ball out of his hands. You see how far you can run with it. What he meant was take the ball, not get loose. Because maybe it gets to stop him with this regular attack run. Stevenson now on first and two. And he takes this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Stevenson gets it again on second down. Patriots are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. 
you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. If there's another example, they did it again. This offensive coordinator, right, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. Extra point up and good by Fulham. And the lead is up to 18 now. next drive and this let's face it an important drive if they're going to get back into this ball game think about going into locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10 a little more optimism a little more bounce around the locker room a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off 21 to 3 i think discouragement clouds that locker room yeah and i think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum Great change up there on the route. It got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. You know, the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside. Make a move in that direction. Then you really don't work around against the whole body of the defender. You think it's a half of it in the inside half. And he took it right, right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. And Dobbins, he is not going to get They stopped him short of the the game. Nothing to do with him. the putter Cook who sends it away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the pass will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. The drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. 84 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. The last run got six, now second and four. On the handoff to Stevenson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. The play fake, Jones. And that is incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. They're indeed going for it as they look at the throw. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. surprised by that, right? I, I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation, but they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on, or they're trying to show extreme confidence. And he ran right through one tackle as he fights forward for a gain of seven. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Here's Stevenson. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, that's almost a tendency break. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Second down at seven. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And this one incomplete. A 50-50 ball in the end, nearly intercepted. And now it's third down. The secondary has been roasted in this first half, but they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more players like that in order to get their confidence fully back. But that's one step in the proper direction. And that's well executed there on third down. But I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Five 
yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. From the 39, Jones. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Back to throw, Jones. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he will have the Patriots first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground. If you'll go to range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Three yards on the pickup there. they will be second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook... And is this intercepted? It is! It's intercepted! Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And the Ravens are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw complete there to Bateman. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. Only people celebrated. The guys just gave up that play. Now Dobbins again on second down. And he'll get this forward only for about a yard as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. Tucker's kick is good. And that will get the deficit down to 15. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Here comes Mac Jones and the rest of the Patriot offense. He's been in a pretty good group. They actually have more yards on the ground than through the air, but both have been good, pretty balanced. And have we ever met a coach from... And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. And that's their first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. Looking deep for Adams, and that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Complete. It's Henry. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the five. So here's.
It's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw. Jones. First down and much more for Henry. And he's across the 50 to the 46 yard line. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. Back to throw. Jones looking deep for Adams. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well. The offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. They'll look to throw again. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Adams. Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Henry's got it out on the left side. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Back to throw again. That's caught by Myers. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks. And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently we're going to get right back to it. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead and they will be getting the football. And the half will begin with a touchback. Well, the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. And they got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line can play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Second down and three. They run once more with Stevenson. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. The good run on first down followed up by a not so good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. Heavy set out there on third and one. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. On third and one, it seems natural to just turn and hand it to the biggest guy you have in the backfield. But usually, he's not the primary runner. So for the defense, they're often keying on the running back because he's the guy who gets the ball more often, and the fullback is the blocker. When he ends up carrying the football, that's a heck of a tendency breaker. And now you're just trying to jump on his back and hold on. Jones now throwing on first down. Oh, Jones has just thrown his third interception. Picked up by Patrick Queen. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. Well, pretty much everything went their way offensively in the first half, but now an interception on the opening drive of the third quarter. As we know, the key to everything here, don't get careless with the football. The problem is you've got to stay aggressive as well. So where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and being overly aggressive? I think they just crossed it on that one. 
has a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. On second down, a run with Dobbins. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. On third down, Jackson. starting field position on that drive but couldn't do anything with it after three plays have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position when that drive started they had six points that they were thinking about and Rutgers kick right there it's good and they're hanging around here as the lead's down to 12. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high as he once had six oh, field goals. Oh, Brandon, but what, six? Let's hope we don't get that again, <laughs> please. Okay, can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. And they'll get him down right at the 25. the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Pats at the line ready to go. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. On first down, Stevenson. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. They've definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. Now Campbell on first down. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Now that Patriots sideline not happy with what just transpired, and they're going to throw out the challenge flag. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Yeah, remember now, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear video evidence to the contrary. And I give these officials a lot of credit. Such a tough and demanding job. You and I both know that. Yeah, they make the right call way more often than they get it wrong. So the decision to challenge does not pan out, and that's also going to cost him a timeout. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. 128 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Again, it's Stevenson. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef feeders on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. And folks, kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting three. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that can all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, 
This is a different game, but as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. I think this running game, or should I say lack of one, is making this defense look better than what they really are. From the gun, Jackson. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Dietrich Wise Jr. And they're to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. It led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Here's Sam Cook now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. That's pulled in at the 32. Great blocking nearly sprung in there. 28-yard return. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and 10. They'll run on first down. It's Stevenson, and he's going to get this inside the 30. It's been a remarkable day at the office for him running the football. Those yards just continue to pile well past 100. And how about more than double-digit carries in the second half alone? That's what you want as a runner because you've got to prove to your offensive line that you're going to be as tough as they are. They don't rotate in and out on every play. Running backs often do, so those who can stay out there with their offensive linemen, those are the guys they really value. On second down, it's Stevenson. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. He hits Adams complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And he's over 100 yards now after that last catch. Already, of course, leading the NFL in receiving yardage. So he's done nothing at all to hurt his cause to stay in that spot. But I've been... And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ramondre Stevenson. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots add on to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Full connects on the extra point, And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. It's a big play there for Baltimore. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Different story this time around. We had that huge gain followed by a sizable loss here.
Now Dobbins again on second down. And this Patriot defense up to the challenge once more as they again stop him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Now it's Jackson. High throw, but the catch is made. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 12-yard line. Now Jackson taps his forward jet sweep. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays. You know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. Eight yards on the run, and that cuts this down to a third and about five. Jackson. Now Hill is, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson taking it in from seven yards away. And the Ravens are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Jackson here is going to look to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And the Pats are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. And what could he possibly be thinking? He just took the fair catch at the one-yard line. Major mistake. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. He's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see it back. Just got to have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big-time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. On third and two, Campbell. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. First down, Stevenson takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. They'll run on first down. It's Stevenson. 
And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 171 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to throw, Campbell. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Give him nine there. They still need six more now on third down. They'll keep it on the ground. Stevenson. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Linebacker Patrick Queen bringing him down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually... Touchdown, Patriots! Hunter Henry is 11th touchdown of the year. And the Patriots have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. But with that touchdown pass, I'm going to bring up a point from earlier in the year. Some of the fans were saying, when do we turn to the rookie? Well, he's looking pretty good right now. Yeah, I love the fact that the fans are bringing that up because I'm not the head coach. Okay, <laughs> so he's got to deal with it. But I think it's a legitimate question. With the way their season is going, I think now is the time to turn the page and let him get some starts before this season is over. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that pushes the lead up to 23. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The offense for the Ravens returns to the field. And their four-game win streak very much in jeopardy as they go to work here late with a first and ten. Flushed out right. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. He'll get ten there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Jackson from the shotgun. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man, because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now it's Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And the Patriots have it. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. 
but it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Marching back onto the field now, Devontae Adams and company getting set to go. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Call it a four-yard pickup, but it leaves him a few inches short here on fourth down. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. And yes, everyone, that was the fullback carrying the football. I know it's a dying breed. It's a dying position for a lot of people. But I still think it's valuable and important, especially one who can carry the ball. And you need short yardage. What makes sense? Go to a big body, let him plow forward just like he did there. It's still a big man's game. On second down now, it's Stevenson, and he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. Campbell on first and 10. And caught by Henry. And all the way down. Inside the five to the four. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4, six, 6'5, six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson. His third touchdown of the game, number 16 on the season. And the Patriots continue to roll. Full connects on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. A 10-play drive that time, and it was polished off by a Ramondre Stevenson touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. On first and ten. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Jackson now. Open man is Duvernay. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. From the gun, it's Jackson. Open man is Bateman. It's complete. 
And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. Now they got to get to the line quickly. He'll find Bateman once more. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. And Jackson throwing once more. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Jackson. That's into the hands of the tight end, Boyle. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Here's Jackson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And the question now, can the Patriot defense hold firm again on third and goal? To throw again is Jackson. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Tucker with the extra point, and that will shave a bit off the lead as it's down to a 23-point game. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So it would no doubt be a miracle comeback from here, but let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. And this is secured by the Patriots. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. And this is going to fall to the ground incomplete. That very nearly their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Slant to Adams. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Well, there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic well over 100 yards. Are we taking notes? We should be, right? Because I'm going to go back and watch this tape and really enjoy what I'm seeing. The route running, competing for the football, just breaking down a defense. spike with three seconds remaining. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. And a 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. 
So for the Pats, they finish off one of the best regular seasons of all time, 16-1, and one, their final record. And now they'll have the week off as they get set to go after a Super Bowl title. Meanwhile, for the Ravens, they had bigger things on their mind, apparently, the playoffs, as they will finish the regular season with a 14-3 mark. And as division champs, they will host a playoff game next week in the wild card round. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.